Hello, dear and wonderful friends. Welcome to Happy Mail Monday on Tuesday because it's the Christmas Eve edition. I deliberately left it for today just so I could have a, a Christmas Eve edition for Happy Mail. I actually didn't, again, I didn't think that I would have any more Happy Mail videos for this year, but here we are and I have some mail to share with you. I'm really, I'm quite surprised and very happy and of course I'm happy it's mail. Ah. <laughs> so yes, I decided, you know what, why not? Let's have a, um, a Christmas Eve Happy Meal. Why not? <laughs> and yes, uh, my hat with bells on is back there because it's warm. It's quite warm. <laughs> and as much as I love to do all the things for the videos that I can, it's, yeah, it's just a bit warm for your resident fluffy... Uh, zine enthusiasts, so <laughs> Santa cap in the back. Um, speaking, well, not speaking of necessarily, but I want to just address something really quickly. A couple of people have been asking, and I love you to bits and pieces for asking. Um, I, I don't like people being concerned and everything, but anyway, I'll get right to it. The um, there were some sphere fires that happened in South Australia. Uh, this past week there have been a lot of severe uh, fires across most of Australia uh, there's been um, very sadly some loss of life um, some of you know that I live reasonably close to Adelaide and uh, the Friday this past Friday the fires uh, that happened were in the Adelaide Hills areas I just want you to know that I am safe I am okay. The fires um, didn't get too close to where I am. There, were, there was a lot of smoke, and the conditions were very awful. But yes, I am. I am safe. It's it's okay. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you for asking. It, it means a lot. To just you know. Anyway, it means a lot. But um, please save all of your warm thoughts for everyone who has some um, who is dealing with tragedy especially this time of year but time of year doesn't really matter when these sorts of things are happening it's just awful and of course my heart goes out to everyone affected and yes I just ask that you keep Australia and Australians in your thoughts while we're still uh, dealing with fires there's all there are still fires going and the temperature is meant to go up again this week I believe so yes um, thank you for asking but I I am safe and I will always do my best to um, let people know in the place that will be seen the most if anything be it something like this or otherwise does affect me but yes anyway um a somber bit beginning to the video but i wanted to uh address it in a in a wide i guess way as soon as possible just to let you know because i don't want anybody to be concerned or to be worrying about me so yeah here i am <laughs> So let us get to the mail. Uh, the mail, I'm very grateful, is still going and everything <laughs> with everything going on. And first up from the amazing Emma. Bum, ba, da, bum. Very cute. Emma, I feel like it's been an age again since we've last communicated, but I believe it was Emma who said um, it's not snail mail if it doesn't take a while <laughs> or something along those lines. And it's just beautiful. Emma is from Puddleside Musings and makes all sorts of amazing things. Artist, uh, is it crochet? I think it's crocheting. <laughs> Forgive me if I'm wrong. A bit of painting, a bit of um, planner stuff. I found Puddleside Musings um, looking for planner stuff and we became fast friends and all the good stuff. And Emma has sent me, eee! Emma loves sloths and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and Emma sent this lovely, lovely card. 
card. Oh, that's so cute. I love the foil as well. And it's super cute on the back as well. Oh, that's so lovely. Oh my goodness. And inside, <laughs> this is <laughs> what Emma has become famous for in my life. Sneaky tea. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Nighttime. Ooh, let's see. A dreamy blend. A dreamy bed of oat flower, lavender, and lime flower. Ooh, never heard of lime flower before. That sounds fabulous. I call it sneaky tea because Australian Customs does not like people sending Australians tea from overseas. Like they just they're they're anti tea or something like that. <laughs> I'm sure there's a legitimate reason. But yes, uh, Emma gets in sneaky tea from time to time. So thank you very much. I do love the the puka. <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right. Brand tea as well. Ooh, that smells interesting. Ooh, <laughs> and we have, of course, one of my favorite things, washi tape. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to do the, see if that helps the camera focus a bit. I do apologize, I'll get this figured out someday. And I'm bumping the mic, it's all going very well. <laughs> oh my goodness. But. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous washi, super cute. We even have some, this one's actually unicorn washi and I wish you could see it properly. I'll try it this way and we'll see how we go. <laughs> there, some focus in life, yay. So lots of super cute washi of different sizes, yay. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Thank you so much. Oh, I usually read the note first, but oh, what can I say, tea? and washi tape. Oh my goodness. So we have a note inside. Let's see. <laughs> it's a little bit personal, so I'm not going to read it out, but <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Emma. That's so lovely. Oh goodness me and adorable too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A million times. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> and I love, well, one thing Emma mentioned was sending things out a little bit late and hoping that the card would get here in time and talk about just in time. So Christmas Eve, well done on the arrival time to Australia. Thank you so much, Emma, for everything, for being a wonderful friend. That's so, so lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, we have another little bit of holiday goodness from the one, the only, the amazing Natalie Michelle Watson. <laughs> How cool is that? That's an envelope. Like, that's not a sticker. These are printed envelopes. Oh, that's so brilliant. I love it so much. And even on the back, even though I've, let's see, T to the rescue, covering up the address. <laughs> How cool is that? I mean, when you're as skilled as Natalie, why wouldn't you? But that's so cool. I love it so much. So much attention to detail. And like I always say, it's the little things. <laughs> so what has Natalie sent us? Ooh, exciting, exciting. <laughs> Merry Christmas. A Merry Christmas to you, Natalie. Let's see. Aww. Thank you for your ongoing support over the last three years of business. Your enthusiasm for what we do fuels us to achieve more as each year passes. We wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I can't wait to show you what I've planned for 2020. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. And what do we have here? Oh my goodness me. Oh, talk about, oh, sorry. I'm getting flustered again. There's so much creativity happening. I'm just, ooh, taking it all in. <laughs> we have a 2020 super cute, oops, super, super cute magnet. How cool is that? Oh my goodness. I'd buy that in sticker form for my bullet journal as well. I totally, totally would. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. It's a magnet. Oh, sweet. Oh. Oh my goodness. Now, can I just say, can I just say, not only is Natalie an awesome friend and a very skilled artist, but talk to Natalie about business because boom, Natalie all over that. And excuse me for being all sassy all of a sudden, because, uh, but Natalie is just all over the amazing business 
stuff ah, because we also have a happy new year scratchy oh cool so awesome scratchies scratch below to reveal your super secret single use discount code to be used in 2020 valid from january 1st to december 31st and of course i'm not showing because i am totally totally going to be using this because natalie makes such awesome awesome creations throughout the year and i too am excited to see what's next next year for natalie michelle watson thank you so much for this lovely bit of awesome but that's just that's, 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 ah, i love it i love it <laughs> <laughs> it's so brilliant and like so brilliant business wise as well but I will leave that tangent for another day or perhaps a part of the podcast <laughs> or something like that thank you Natalie I have a little sip of my coffee between each <laughs> each thing oh my goodness so if my hair changes between each thing it's because I have a sip of my coffee and then I just run my hand through my hair but that's neither here nor there <laughs> next up we have more fantabulous mail because that's what the video is all about i'm so excited i'm so excited because we have mail mail from ryan <laughs> this is my friend ryan from canada hi ryan and ryan set a goal at the beginning of this year oh you'll have to forgive me on the numbers i think he set a goal for sending out 250 zines but don't quote me on that i could be wrong and he just totally got like totally sailed past that goal and has a goal of sending 500 zines this year and i am people sometimes people are surprised to find out but i am very 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 competitive even self-competitive i'm just that's that's who i am <laughs> and so i got oops pardon me I got feeling competitive on behalf of Ryan because <laughs> I was like, oh, you can do it. So, so I may put in a little zine order, <laughs> can I say? <laughs> and of course, Ryan is a very skilled artist. I, I am so pleased with the aspect of my life that I know so many skilled artists because there's just something really lovely about that. <laughs> Ryan has awesome, awesome, awesome envelope art. So here we go. Oh, so cool. And we have lots of zine goodness. Oh, cool. See, we have all the, of course, all of this will be in the description. And of course, it's not behaving focus wise. There we go. <laughs> but very cool little card. And on the back, Jamie, as always, thank you so much, Ryan. Mwah! <laughs> It's a pleasure to be competitive for you, even though I, you didn't ask and that's probably kind of weird. <laughs> so I ordered some awesomeness from Ryan. And first up, we have... Bum, ba, da, bum. <laughs> oh, I should have ordered two of this. I have a friend and he would love this. And I just realized how much he would love this. And I really should have ordered two, but something for the future then so we as i mentioned ryan is an artist and so we i'm sorry gives me a bit of the giggles we have this mini zine of awesomeness halloweenies <laughs> hot dogs dressed up in slutty halloween costumes because this this how could this possibly not exist <laughs> it needed to exist and ryan made it so <laughs> absolutely brilliant and of course you can see <laughs> the goodness I'm not going to do spoilers because I'm like that <laughs> so there's that but <laughs> I right, see I told you it gives me the giggles but one thing I've mentioned before and I'd like to mention again that I really love that Ryan does is the backs of these zines and oh it's like a mini catalog on the back of a mini zine how cool is that <laughs> So very awesome. We have Halloweenies giving me the giggles over here. And then we have silly stanzas for smiling, sharing, and sweet sentiments. Ooh. <laughs> Don't get distracted, Nix. So yes, yeah, silly stanzas. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> and inside, you'll find funny 
uh, sometimes a little rude. I mean, we do have a, there was a young man from Nantucket. <laughs> <laughs> and you always know that something starting with a line like that is going to be a little bit rude. So he has lots of fun little stanzas, little rhymes, and things like that all contained in this awesome mini zine. And what can I say? A little bit of a peek there. <laughs> and Ryan's usual awesome style. So exciting. And I love, I love English. I love um, the English language and stuff like that so this is definitely something that I was <laughs> I was always going to need to have in my zine collection of course <laughs> and last up we have the amazing awesome chock full of so much goodness the pocket thoughts classic zine collection Ryan fan club 1998 through 2001 <laughs> Sweet! Oh my goodness. There we go. Very, very cool. And this is so awesome because <laughs> Ryan had actually talked to me a bit about it before he did it. And I'm so glad to see he did it. And what's even about, and <laughs> I don't know what this says about me, if it's a good or a bad thing, but I love kind of like uh, limited edition sort of things. And I love the inclusion of a, a number on the back so i got <laughs> number two of 50 limited edition <laughs> what can i say like i never got into the whole limited edition thing with pretty much anything really but when it comes to zines what can i say <laughs> <laughs> so what is the Ryan Fan Club? Ryan Fan Club, this zine collects three years worth of zines from 1998 to 2001. While it is complete, you should know it's not totally unaltered. A small amount of photos have been replaced because people from them couldn't be reached to or reach for their permission. Good on you, Ryan. Each RFC newsletter has been shrunken down from the legal size paper to fit in this collection. You may need a magnifying glass in a couple spots. And have fun turning the zine around every which way to read all the pieces. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is going to be fabulous. I will probably need the magnifying glass, so at least very bright light. <laughs> I'll just give you a brief peek as to what Ryan's talking about. Like, <laughs> that is a lot. That that there is so much happening on each and every page and oh my goodness it's like a little treasure chest with each one and when he does say every which way <laughs> even upside down stuff as well <laughs> that's that's brilliant and that's so exciting and i love that ryan is taking something he made so long ago and i'm kind of sad that it is so long ago oh time goes by <laughs> but i'm glad to see ryan like i don't know if, i don't want to say repurposing but taking these things and making them into something new it's just oh it's fabulous and i'm i'm glad to have a copy so yes thank you ryan thank you for shipping them so quickly i honestly i didn't i was like okay that'll be you know 2020 stuff <laughs> but the mail has been very good very good to me so thank you Thank you a million times, thank you. <laughs> and all of that good stuff. Next up, I am very, very, very excited to say that some completely unexpected mail arrived from Mash and Corn. <laughs> I love that name so much. Mash and Corn um, sent some, or sent zines, a, yes, a zine before for review called XYG Examine Your Grammar, which told, uh, which shared grammar rules in very adult ways and i loved it i absolutely loved it i'm so excited to see what they've come up with next <laughs> oh my goodness oh and there's some stickers i nearly missed them <laughs> but yes it was I'll, I'll link to the review in the description it was a highly entertaining <laughs> um introduction to grammar i got a sorry i just got like really distracted by the <laughs> this sticker Oh, goodness. So I'll just let you have a peek here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going on about. Maybe do it a little bit differently so I can actually hold it up for you. But yes. <laughs> so that's fun and different. <laughs> oh, I'm getting the giggles again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Next, here is the latest of our zines. Hope you enjoy Mashing Corn. Well, hello, Mashing Corn. I still really love your names. I think it's great. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> if it wasn't Christmas Eve, this would be the Giggle Edition, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Written by Mesh, designed by Gorm. <laughs> I, I do. I am. I am not a mature person. <clears throat> I am not. <clears throat> anyway, we have going deep. An adult guide to sports. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Some people are going to be shaking their heads at me right now, thinking, oh, "Nix, Nix, we thought better of you. You're giggling all over the place." And all I can say is. Why not? Why not fill the world with a bit more laughter? Because that's brilliant. Going deep in adult guide to sports. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have opened it. Oh my goodness me. They're, 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 I, I shouldn't have opened it. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. But Mashing Corn, if you're watching this, <laughs> very well done. <laughs> On the very first page, a little bit of shock and awe. <laughs> Okay, so it reads, they say sports mirrors, <laughs> excuse me, they say sports mirror life, that what we do and learn on the field or the court applies directly to what we do off the court or the field. They also say everything's about sex. <laughs> and we take it from there. Uh, they have a fantabulous, fant I was just going to say fantabulous, why not? They have a fantabulous <laughs> style with really big easy to read, read print, which I appreciate even though I, technically I'm nearsighted, but you know, appreciate it anyway. And lots of fun cut and paste and all kinds of stuff. This zine is interactive. Look at us all tech savvy. You know what to do. Scan the QR code. Oh, fun. A little peek. Very fun. Cool. So yes, <laughs> brilliant, brilliant stuff from Snakebite Press. This is great. This is so great. Oh, thank you for sending this to me. I, I know I'm going to enjoy it. I already, <laughs> I already know that based on the examining your grammar experience, which was also fabulous. Thank you so much for sending that along completely unexpected and an absolute pleasure to see in my inbox my inbox oh my goodness i've been responding to so many emails lately in my post box <laughs> thank you very much and last up but certainly not least we revisit the world of the grand duchess of awesomeness natalie michelle watson <laughs> now i'm going to have to do a jump cut for when I open this because it is going to take a while because this is very very securely packed oh my goodness blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but I just want to show you more of this awesomeness because check this out so we have a thank you cherry sticker and I think that's fabulous I need to be a little bit you know I need to be rich and richer and stuff like that to afford this kind of awesomeness but I think a, a designed thank you sticker is absolutely fabulous <laughs> so brilliant and then we have Natalie Michelle Watson here I'm trying to see around I just can't so I'm just going to try to trust that I'm in frame so we have this sticker here which is a really lovely textured sticker by the way what can I say I'm, I'm, I'm a tactile person <laughs> and look at this and fun stickers and check it out that is Natalie's very own designed washi tape and Grand Duchess of Awesome. Please tell me your ways. Tell me your ways. I want to do the things as well. <laughs> I want to make the washi tape as well. <laughs> or I want to pay someone to design washi tape and, and then I'll, I'll have the washi tape because, yeah. <laughs> so here comes the jump cut because I'm going to open this up and show you the amazing, amazing, amazingness that's inside. My, my, now that is what we call a secured box. <laughs> so opening up, oh, lovely. Oh, it's like, oh, goodness me. <laughs> my phone is there, my phone's all set up, so I can't do a, a thing. So maybe I will just kind of show you because this is such a fabulous and lovely. <laughs> it's a nest, it's a nest of confetti. It's a, a nest fetti. <laughs> <laughs> something like that I don't know but how lovely is that that's great oh it's so cool so we have a notes and some bits and pieces and the pistol resistance and oh oh and and the net 
and the the nest fitty the confetti nest <laughs> there are there are treats because treats are awesome ah. <laughs> oh this is my christmas okay <laughs> oh my goodness so we have treats we have a chop chop which is ooh chop chop with this candy cane flavor squeezies <laughs> And we have an actual candy cane because treats are fabulous. <laughs> oh my goodness me. And we have a note. Dearest Nix, thank you so much for your order. This was a totally fun mug to do and I hope you love it. Because yes, um, one of the things that Natalie recently came up with, came out with fairly recently was the... Oh, sorry, just saw something and I got excited. Anyway, um, with mugs. Natalie makes mugs and it's so cool and it's fabulous and something different and I, and I have I have my coffees I almost always have a uh, coffee while I'm doing um, Happy Mail Mondays and I, I just love fun mugs and this you know I don't know maybe it's a <laughs> sign of adulthood or something but on the website I'm not sure if it's currently available because I know a lot of a lot of people wanted it <laughs> so but uh, there was the option to get a custom mug made now before I get into that there's this cutie patootie little envelope full with a couple fun stickers and oh my goodness <laughs> Fridge pickers wear big knickers. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. That is a lovely, fun magnet. Love it. Oh, I love it. So that was also in there with all the treats. Oh, I love this all so much. And so we have my custom mug. <laughs> Illustrated and printed in Australia by Natalie Michelle Watson. And before when I went, woo, and kind of got distracted there for a second, it's because I saw this sticker. And I love it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so let us check out this awesome mug made by, as I said, the Grand Duchess of Awesomeness, Natalie Michelle Watson. And I'm so excited because this is a custom, this is a custom mug. It's, it is my mug. It is a unique mug. <laughs> <laughs> just oh my goodness see I think the other week when Ryan sent me a one-of-a-kind um, zine that still makes me cry and I still totally look at when I'm having a bad day it got me into thinking oh custom stuff is brilliant oh my goodness <laughs> I'm looking at this mug and I'm so so excited <laughs> oh my goodness so yes, uh, there are mugs that Natalie has on her website uh, that are, have patterns and, and things like that and, and are totally cool and awesome and stuff like that. But I decided to go the, the custom way to see what awesomeness uh, Natalie could create. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy. It's just, it just, <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm waving my hands around lots and lots because I'm just so excited. <laughs> So here we have the awesomeness. Now what I might do is um, try to do a better video so you can get a better view of the mug. But if I don't, then this is what you'll see. Anyway, <laughs> so how cute is this? When you so we have you know nicey nice mug, and when you go on the website, oh I'm so excited! <laughs> Look at that, that's adorable. I wish I had better lighting in here. So when you go on the website, if you request a custom mug, you can put in three items. Oh, that's so cute to have on your mug. And I, <laughs> I smiled and suggested the spread a little sunshine edition mug. And I listed hearts, flowers, and a sun. And this is so, so, so cute. I love it. There's little hearts and flowers floating all over the place. And then we've got, Oh, these and it's super super cool too because it has my name on it oh I love it I love it so 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 incredibly incredibly much oh my goodness me look at that oh cool that is so neat oh I'm so happy <laughs> Goodness me. So yes, the custom mug option that I was 
Again, I'm not sure if the custom mug option is still currently open. I probably should have checked before I did the video, but yeah, I saw that and I just had to order one. Can't help it because <laughs> Natalie does afterpay as well, which thank you, Natalie, for doing afterpay as well. That makes my life a lot easier when you do so many cool things. But oh my goodness me, it's amazing. Oh, that's so cool. I am like, my, my cheeks are hurting. I'm just so happy. That is just absolutely brilliant. I love the little, <laughs> all the little flowers. Oh my goodness me. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I'm so happy. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you so much. I know you've been working so hard and I didn't know when this would arrive. I, I know there were so many orders and everything. <laughs> I'm just so happy. I'm so happy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, goodness me. Thank you for everything. <laughs> so thank you once more to Natalie. Thank you once more to Mashing Corn. Thank you once more to Ryan. And thank you once more to Emma. Thank you all so much. It's just, it's so lovely and I'm so happy and I'm so utterly, utterly grateful. I truly, truly am. You're all fabulous and thank you for watching. <laughs> oh, thank you for watching so much. This is, this, I, it's, <laughs> it's nice to be able to share mail with you and I promise there will be more videos it won't just be mail videos in 2020 I will get back to making other sorts of videos and all of that good stuff but uh, yes happy mail Monday videos have really carried me through and sustained me through some really dark times in recent times so thank you so much I'm just... <laughs> Oh, see, I just, I get excited and I just kind of, la, 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 la. anyway, <laughs> thank you all so much. And thank you for everyone who just watches my nonsense and stuff, watching me get excited and giggle about, you know, innuendo and <laughs> all of the things that it, it means the world to me. It, like I said, it keeps me going and yes i cannot thank you enough for all of the things the, the mail the watching the subscribing the commenting and and all of the things thank you a million times over truly and completely and yeah so i'll wrap it up here and i will say no matter who you are no matter where you are no matter when you watch this no matter what you celebrate or you don't celebrate or anything like that just i hope that the day treats you well that the rest of this year treats you well that the universe gives you many 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 good things in your life and until next time make some zines send some mail and spread a little sunshine I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Thank you. <laughs>